Hello, Nathan Reed and Spruth here, and I am doing a really weird video. So, uh, a couple weeks ago, about actually a couple months ago, I decided to go and try the Ancestry DNA. Uh, I think it was a promotion where it was like sixty dollars. It was fifty nine dollars plus shipping, so about seventy bucks for the Ancestry DNA DNA test. A little bit of backstory about your your favorite Reeton is that my mom was actually adopted. So half of my family, I have no idea about. I've never met uh, a lot of, a big portion of my family I've never met, even though I do know that some of my uh, biological family on that side does live in the same state that I live in. They actually live about two or three hours away. I've still never met them. So I decided that, hey, I'm going to do this DNA test and see what I'm made out of. I had a friend who had a DNA test, and I won't say who it was, but he had, he found out that his, who he thought was his father wasn't his father, and I thought that was hilarious, because uh, I'm a terrible person. But anyway, I decided to do this DNA test, see what I'm made out of. And we will figure that out together. But I will say what I thought I was made out of. Or rather, what I think I'm made out of. Uh, I think that I'm made out of ma mainly Irish, French, and German. Those are the main things that I think I am. Um, I did speak with a relative of mine who did some, some DNA background stuff, but not an actual DNA test. Uh, a few years ago, there's like very little um, Native American, like a very small amount of Native American in me. And theoretically, I think I think she said Armenian at one point, but I don't know. So I'm going to switch over to the the camera view so we can look at the test together and just see what I'm made out of. And we'll switch right after this break. All right, so we are back, and we are looking at my computer monitor here. This is my my Chrome screen. DNA story, NS. Now, it shows here 58% uh, England, Wales, and Northern Europe. Of course, I'll click the button and go a little bit closer. 27% uh, Irish and Scotland. Makes sense. That's about what I thought. Uh, England, Wales, Northern Europe, Northwestern Europe. Uh, and then 27% Ireland and Scotland. Let's click on the DNA story. I think this is where we're supposed to go. Norway looks like a... It looks like a shape now, doesn't it? Okay, so we have... Let's start over here in Iceland. Apparently, uh, your ethnicity estimate is 4%, but it can range from 0 to 11%. So I have about 4%, theoretically, uh, for Iceland and Norway, is what it looks like. We have, for Sweden, 3% Swedish. Oh, I guess I should read through the, the about this region. <clears throat> Give me just one moment here. The earliest inhabitants of the northern, I'm sorry, the Norway region were strong seafaring people. For centuries, hunter-gatherers slowly pushed across the Baltic Sea, probing coastal fords and inland stretches for ar arable land as ice melted off the untamed region. While Norwegians, Swedes, and Danes all share a common Norse heritage, over time Norway's resilient Coastal communities evolved into a nation known for its seamanship, technology, artistry, and mythology. So, that's cool. I'm, I'm about 4% Norwegian. <clears throat> Let's move on to Swedish. 3% there. Uh, very similar to Norway, I think. With its rocky coastline, wooden uplands, and subarctic mountain mountainous terrain, our Sweden region emerged from glacial ice as rugged 
Lakes of and islands. Sorry, it's kind of small writing for me <laughs> to read. The Swedish people were uh, share a common Norse heritage with Norway and especially Denmark that includes language, religion, and art. They eventually developed a culture of their own situated north of the Baltic Sea, geographic isolation uh, from conflicts raging on the European continent did not stop the Swedes from influencing the culture, trade, and politics of regions from the Volga River and Byzantium. So I'm 3% Swedish. Let's go to Estonia, uh, Latvia, Lithuania, Belarus, and Lukraine. Um, I've actually been watching uh, somebody on YouTube called Bald and Bankrupt who has been going through Belarus. So that's actually kind of interesting to see there. Thousands of years ago, the early ancestors of the peoples in our Baltic region came from the east and south. They entered a landscape of low-lying plains, thousands of lakes, and millions of air acres of forest, beautiful boundary zones. Straddling Eastern and Western Europe, inhabitants have seen Vikings, Crusading, uh, Teutonic Knights, empires, and communism come and go, but they have maintained an attachment to land, culture, and freedom. Uh, Belarus, while I don't know if I would ever travel there, I, I may, I may travel there. Uh, it actually looks like a, a certain places there would be fun to go to. I just don't speak any uh, Russian, which I believe is the is the uh, language that they speak there, and I I may have some issues traveling. So if maybe if uh, things open up and I could get somebody who who speaks the language to kind of guide me, that would be that would be pretty cool. Okay, let's look at I believe this is this is uh, Ireland and Scotland. It is 27%. The ethnicity estimate is 27%, but it can range from 0 to 30%. So I'm 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 definitely Irish. De I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty Irish. I'm about one fourth Irish. Located among the Isles of the Eastern North Atlantic Ocean, our Ireland and Scotland region remains linked to Celtic culture. Here, along with a handful of other isolated communities within the British Isles, you can find some of the last holdouts of the ancient Celtic languages that were once spoken throughout much of Western Europe. And though closely tied with Great Britain, both geographically and historically, people in this region have maintained their unique character throughout the centuries. I actually was going to go to Ireland this year, but... Uh, I ended up canceling that, the idea for that trip. I was going to go, and the tickets were around $900 round trip, which isn't too bad. But I also, at the time, I had found some tickets to go to Montreal, Quebec, Canada for uh, $300 a piece from where I'm at, and that's a really good price. Uh, and then it didn't matter because by the time that trip came up, all travel had been stopped. So I wasn't able to go to Ireland. I wasn't able to go to Canada. I could barely go to California if I wanted to at this point. So, uh, yeah, that was kind of sad. So let's go to, I want to go to Germany first, and then we'll go to the, the major one. I am 6% German, so I am Irish. Uh, I've got the German in me. So I don't know about the French, but I've got Irish and I got German. Um. The dramatic landscape of our Germanic re uh, Europe region rises from the Dutch and German lowlands along the North Sea through forested uplands to Austria's Alps in the south. The German people were united by language and culture before Germany became a united country in 1871. Known as Das Land der... I can't read German. <laughs> the land of poets and thinkers. Germany is home to some of the oldest universities in the world. And this region has a long tradition of producing world-class scientists, inventors, theologians, artists, and composers. And you can see that I'm reading that from the right. Now, I am going to click on the last one here, which is the United Kingdom. 58%. 
from uh, England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe. Your ethnicity estimate is 58%, but it can range anywhere from 50 to 72%. So we are definitely, and by we, I mean my, my family, especially my, my sister and my brother. Uh, we are definitely England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe. Uh, the history of Britain, the heart of our, in, uh, the heart of our England, Wales, and Northwestern European region is often presented as one group of invaders after another displacing the native population. The Romans, Anglo-Saxons, Vikings, and Normans have all left their mark on Britain, uh, both politically and culturally. However, the story of Britain is far more complex. In fact, modern studies suggest the earliest populations weren't wiped out, but adapted and absorbed uh, the new arrivals. So, uh, this is primarily located, it's right above my head, but it says primarily, primarily located in Belgium, Channel Islands, uh, England, and Wales. So I am, I am definitely... Um, not what I thought, not exactly what I thought I was, but, but I, I've got some of what I believe to be in me. So I've got the Irish, um, and I've got the German. I didn't see there any French, so it looks like that was, was not correct, but I do have the Irish, I have the German, uh, and I have a lot of stuff that I didn't even think about. European, obviously European. Um, I did not expect, honestly, I didn't expect anything from, uh, from Belarus or, or Sweden, uh, Norway, I, I kind of suspected, but it wasn't, it wasn't like I knew 100% that. So this was interesting. And there are also other things, uh, that you can do with this ancestry DNA test. If other people who were related to you, cousins, uncles, um, you know, half sisters, uh, father, uh, your real dads, if they had taken the test, uh, then you can see people that you are related to, which is another thing that I'm interested in, but I'm not going to do that right now because I do not want to, um, I, I do not want to show people who might not want to be on YouTube. I, I don't want to show them on YouTube. So I will, you know, I'll, I'll check it out myself and maybe make some follow-up videos saying if I've ever found somebody. So anyway, that was interesting. I know it's a pretty short video, but I think that it was really neat. So thank you for watching. Uh, you know, I'm going to try to upload some more content here in the future, uh, more videos uh based around video games and tv shows and, and and the like so make sure if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you liked it give it a thumbs down if you didn't comment below um comment below if you've ever taken a dna test and what nationality you found out you were that you were kind of not expecting like i was not expecting uh estonia latvia lithuania belarus any of that so that's really funny. Um, and then also press the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.